Moment of truth. Yes. Come. Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You. But how? You left. You destroyed the device. Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries. And so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the skies. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life 
used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't! It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us! We'll find another way! There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside and wait for... Geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest... On record, satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier levels. Obviously, it will be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I play mine.
need to help me. You won't lose your leg that much, I can promise you. But it will hurt some. Honor, I simply can't get to all these men in reasonable time. I need help from you, from anyone. I think I have someone for you. Diana, come with me. I need your help. Of course. What's the matter? <sighs> Dr. White is overwhelmed and needs some extra hands. I'm no doctor, Connor. Maybe not. But I have seen you care for people before. Diana, perfect. I'm told you have a healer's hand. Please see to this young man. Connor, if you could help the two gentlemen out front. Thanks, Skip. Good of you to help. I should be all right. Many thanks, Captain. That's a spot better, sir. Thanks. Caught a piece of shrapnel in the shoulder. Bad luck. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Uh, caught some burn off a rope. It happens. Thanks, Skipper. You did well, Connor. But Diana, you impressed me greatly. W well, thank you, Doctor. I haven't studied the practice or anything. Maybe not, but your instincts are superb, and you have a healer's touch. If you had the time, I would be grateful for your help on a more regular basis. Might be Catherine could watch the young ones a few days a week. And if she can't, we'll find someone who will. Old man. Achilles.
What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. He passed peacefully and with dignity. A service then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? Anna, if you are reading this, I have failed to say goodbye as I wanted, but the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. A community to serve as an example of what this would-be nation could become. But the larger and stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. I am grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Yours in brotherhood. Prayer and sermon do not suit this occasion. Achilles was not a man of God, not my God at any rate. But he certainly believed in a guiding force, and he is at peace now, and for that we can be grateful. We lay him to rest here, atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life, so he can remain that comforting presence, the old man on the hill that we have all grown to depend on. You all had your own relationships with him, your own moments, and I implore you to return here when the time is right for you and share those stories with the waves and the trees. Achilles, you will be missed, but never forgotten. Go safely, old man, safely to where your soul need rest. I will make you proud, old man. <laughs> 